Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos, then you can find links in the description box. My today's video is on instrumentation interview questions for differential pressure flow transmitter. In this video, I will give the answers of top 7 questions for differential pressure flow transmitter. So, please watch this video till the end to get all the answers. First of all, let's start with most frequently asked interview question which is. How do you perform a zero check on a differential pressure transmitter? To perform zero check of DP flow transmitter, a technician need to close the low pressure block valve. Then he needs to open the equalizing valve. And finally he needs to close high pressure side block valve. After performing final steps, he needs to open low pressure sides vent port. Second most frequently asked interview question is. What is the sequence of manifold valves to put differential pressure transmitter into service? To begin with all valves in a closed position, first of all open the equalizing valve, then open the high pressure block valve slowly, then close the equalizing valve, and finally, open the low pressure side block valve. Third most frequently asked interview question is. How do you carry out piping for differential pressure flow transmitter on liquids, gas and steam services? Basically, in this question, interviewer need to know, where should you install DP transmitter, if the process fluid is liquid, gas, and steam? For liquid lines, DP transmitter should be installed below the orifice plate. Because liquids has a property of self-draining. As you can see, for gas lines, DP transmitter should be installed above the orifice plate. Because gases have a property of self-venting. And secondly gases condensate formation. So, it is better to install above orifice plate. For steam lines, DP transmitter should be installed below the orifice plate with condensate pots. And also make sure that, the pots should be installed at same level. Now, fourth question is. What are the different types of orifice plates? In this question, your answer should be. There are four different types of orifice plates. First is concentric. Second is eccentric. Third is segmental. And fourth is quadrant edge. Fifth question is. What are the primary elements used for flow measurement? For this question, your answer should be. There are six primary elements, which is used for flow measurement. First is orifice plate. Second is venturi tube. Third is pitot tube. Fourth is anubars. Fifth is flow nozzle. And sixth is weir and flumes. Sixth question is. What is the purpose of orifice tab? In this question, your answer should be. The orifice tab is provided due to the following reasons. Firstly, orifice tab gives indication of an orifice plate in a line. Secondly, orifice tab is also provided because orifice diameter is marked on it. And last reason is that, orifice tab also provides information such as material of orifice plate and tag number. Last question is. What to check when DP flow transmitter's indication is more? In this question, you need to explain procedure step by step. You need to say. In a first step, I will flush both impulse line. And adjust it to zero by equalizing if necessary. If still indication is more, then I will check the low pressure side for choke. Then I will check the high pressure side for choke. Lastly, I will calibrate the transmitter. Thank you friends for watching this video. 
And if you think our content is informative for you, then please like and subscribe this channel. And if you have any questions about this video, please feel free to ask me in comment box. I will try to give best possible answers to your questions.